it's Candy, and I'm going to show you how to do super fast and awesome waves in your hair that don't look too curly, they don't look too beachy waves, they just look gorgeous. And after I posted a picture with this, everyone's like, show a tutorial on how to do it. So I'm going to show you how to take your old curling irons and turn them into curling wands, and how easy and super fast this is to do. So it may be your go-to, I don't have any time, but my hair will look glamorous, new hairdo. Uh, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any more fun and awesome videos like this. And let's get started. So the first thing you're going to need is a curling wand. And if you don't have a curling wand, I will show you how to make one out of a regular curling iron. What you're going to do is pull this prong off of the sides. So this little guy is gone. On the side, you see this little screw. You're just going to loosen them, loosen the other side, remove this. You can unscrew him, take him off, and voila, you have a curling wand from an old school flippy curling iron. So first, all you need to do is just blow dry your hair or you can sleep in it and let it dry and then just brush it out. So what you do is you just split the hair so you have equal amounts on each side. Then I start at the very back and just grab a section about as wide as your curling iron is. And when I'm doing one side, I like to curl them away from my face or you can alternate. So we're just gonna take this section. You wanna start the wand and then you just wrap the hair down and around, and then you don't wrap the bottom, you kind of leave him a little straight because that's gonna give you that kind of messy look that doesn't look super curly cue at the end. I like to hold him for about, I don't know, 10 or 15 seconds, and then you just kind of gently let him fall and you have your first curl like that. Then I just throw him to the back, get our next section. So I start like a few inches away from my scalp, just wrap him around, and then again, just hold the end like this. And there's your next curl like that. Then you just keep wrapping all the way on this one side. Now we're getting near the face and you just want to make sure that you've taken similar sized pieces otherwise you're going to have different sized curls. And then our last piece near the face. And you want to make sure that you hold the wand up and down. If you hold it out to the side it'll just pull the hair weird and you'll get kind of a weird curl. Here's all our curls on this side. Now we're gonna go to side two. Since we put the wand in here and then we wrap the hair up, out, and away from our face, we're gonna do the same thing on this side. So I'm gonna wrap the hair going forward and then around the curling iron on this side. And you wanna make sure that you brush the hair out first. Start to wrap him around. And then we begin doing this side. And then up near the face, you wanna make sure that your sections are small so you're not getting big clumps of sections. You wanna make sure that they're evenly kind of sized. And if you want varying pattern in your waves, you can curl them forward and back, just alternate each time so you have different kind of wave patterns in your hair too. But I'm just going one direction for today. One direction, ha ha ha. And then you can finish off any pieces with your um, flat iron that need to be kind of curled. I'm just gonna smooth down these edges and fix my bangs a little bit. So I'm just gonna curl them so they'll kind of flip into this curl pattern. And then you can just finish it with a light hairspray. And then after it's dried a little bit, you can just take your fingers and kind of shake it through the curls, kind of comb it out a little bit, and then it separates them and makes them warm. Then if you want like a little volume at your roots, you can just take a little layer of your hair, set it around the curve of the barrel of the iron, and it just gives you a little lift right there. Like that. You can do the same thing if you want a little lift on this side. Just set it there for a couple seconds, and you're just kind of sculpting and shaping your hair into the shape you want. And then if you want, you can just flip your hair to the other side like this too. I'm just gonna do some finishing touches and I'm all done. And that's it, you have super easy hair that you can get out the door in like 10 minutes and you know how to turn your old curling iron into a curling wand so you can do this awesome hairdo super fast. So I hope you guys like it. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on more awesome videos like this. And then you can go over to my channel Candyland, which I'll put a link below so you can see my vlog videos over there. And then follow me all over the interweb on Twitter, Snapchat, Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram, everywhere. I'm at Candy Johnson so you can see more fun pictures in between videos being uploaded. So huge hugs from my bathroom to yours and have Happy, awesome, and fast hair days. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!